we looked at the the overall <laughs> trends and we thought that the calls that were essentially a bearish pitch book uh, were just not accurate. They were based on uh, near-term trading uh, when we saw uh, what the situation was in terms of the corporate resilience, the the uh, the consumer stance, uh, and uh, where the Fed was being uh, effectively uh, very much uh, sensitive to applying its mandate uh, to uh, inflation that was at untoward levels, uh, we couldn't help but think we rather stay in the market rather than try to time the market, recognizing that time in the market historically has shown to be a good way to get better returns over the intermediate to longer term. So the Bloomberg reporting of your call here this morning, uh, John Oppenheimer, uh, asset management list, S&P 500 target to Wall Street high of 5,500. What's driving that? Mm -hmm. Is that earnings driven? Is that yeah. good? Uh, it, it certainly it's a mix of both. It it it, uh, it certainly is earnings driven. If you consider third quarter and fourth quarter uh, S and P five hundred uh, earnings, really surprised very nicely to the upside. In addition, if you look at GDP and you reflect on Fed policy, the Fed has been remarkable with eleven hikes and what is it six pauses or skips as they call them. Uh, now uh, has not pushed the economy into a recession. And then beyond that, the fact that what we believe is that it's interesting, you just had George Ball on and he, you all spoke about uh, uh, investors and, and, and retirement and things like that at one point. It's, it's today, two generations uh, and more than that, uh, the younger ones uh, uh, that, that, that follow the millennials, but the millennials and the boomers uh, recognize the fact that Social Security is likely not to be what it once was as a core to retirement uh, uh, for prior generations over the decades. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, the recognition that uh, they will likely live longer. And so whether preparing for retirement or in retirement, uh, there's a need for equities. Equities, historically, again, you know, with past performance, no guarantee of future results, as we always say. But equities uh, tend to be a better place for intermediate to long-term investing. And diversification okay. calls, in our view. I mean, I mean Paul's living this. I mean, you know, John, you and I have to work every day. Sweeney could have retired 14 <laughs> years ago. But the bottom line here, Paul Sweeney, is when was the last time bonds made a return? Yeah. And I mean, I'm talking, you're back five years, seven years or whatever. That, I mean, it, it, John, it's interesting. It's, you know, Tom was just mentioning, you think about the fixed income space just got crushed uh, in uh, 2022. And thanks to a miraculous November, December, they, they eked out some gains last year. But uh, in the equity markets, I guess the question for a lot of folks is, where do I go here? Do I follow the Magnificent Seven or Five or whatever they are today, or do I try to find some value in other parts of the market? Where are you at this part of the stage? Great question, Paul. We think you have to mix and match, which really means diversification. Uh, and, and by that we mean, uh, we, we emphasize cyclicals over defensives, but still want some defensive in there for the higher yielding dividends. Uh, uh, growthier value for uh, companies that grow their dividends and still want growth because the innovation points to the very clear fact that much more sophisticated technology that we have today versus where the uh, where we were when the tech bubble happened and being 40 years of this business, I can well remember the tech bubble, which is not that long ago. Uh, this is an environment where technology keeps morphing and it can, it can very well help all the sectors, including both itself, technology and, and right. communication services, which is over 50%, about 60, 70% technology, but all the others help companies become more efficient, help consumers uh, uh, be more right. efficient in, in approaching their relationship business as well as each other.